CFM fans, we got another one. Can't lie, the CFM's been popping. My Minnesota Vikings are making their playoff push, but it advances every two days, you know? And I can't lie, CFM is giving me juice in Madden. The only way to get that juice is to join another one, right? So I've been looking at different CFMs to try to play a different CFM game every day, upload a different CFM every day, and I found one. But this league is awesome. I'll show you guys. It is every team's best team. So you're looking at like the 72 Dolphins, Joe Montana's 49ers, Terry Bradshaw Steelers, the 90s Cowboys, whatever year is perceived their best year, that's the team you get. And I got the Eagles. Let's go. Go Birds. 04 Eagles, McNabb and T.O. We're going to run this. That's who I got. I'll show you guys what I did with my abilities and who I'm going to put abilities on. But let's take a look at my roster right now, boys. Brian Dawkins, obviously lead the best player on the team. Brian Dawkins, safety. We got T.O. at wide receiver. Trey Thomas, left tackle. McNabb, Lito Shepard, Jeremiah Trotter, Brian Westbrook, Michael Lewis, Javon Curse, the freak, Corey Simon, John Runyon, Akers the kicker, Darwin Walker, the boys, man. So definitely a dope league. Definitely uh, looking forward to taking probably my favorite team growing up and making it to the Super Bowl and winning the Super Bowl this time because this team actually lost the Super Bowl to the Patriots where we got cheated by Spygate. The NFL still hasn't awarded the teams that got cheated by Spygate with their Super Bowl trophy. We're still waiting on that. So this is what I'm going to do with this team. We're going to go ahead and start this. I believe this is a two-season CFM. It's actually run by Lobby Up. If you guys check out Lobby Up, I believe you can play money games on there. That's their site. They drew this CFM and it's joined with a lot of sweats, a lot of a lot of regular players, and a good mixture. Uh, our boy Mexi Brown's in here. Swolismo, the Canadian representative in Bot Wars, is in here. A lot of other sweats and fake sweats and all those guys that ruin the CFM with abilities. But we're starting this CFM fresh. So I'll be honest, a lot of the other teams are great, and I'll show you guys those teams as I play them, and I'll show you guys those teams, you know, as we get into different games and playoff matchups and everything like that. But I'm going to show you what we did with this league to start development. You know, if you start a CFM, there's no abilities to start. First of all, every every quarterback gets abilities. So no matter what your quarterback is, you're going to get abilities. McNabb, we got abilities. He's got everything. Fearless, Gunslinger, Pass Lead, Elite, Hot Route Master, all that stuff. So every quarterback is, is, is perfect which is a little weird, but every quarterback is perfect. Nobody wants to play a Madden with a bad quarterback regardless. So every quarterback is perfect. Then you get three superstars on each side. You can pick any three superstars on each side of the ball, and you can also reset the age of two players on either side of the ball so you don't lose them after the season and, and they can gain XP faster. Now, I'm not going to lose anybody with edge threats. So unfortunately, I had to superstar two of my tackles, which sucks. But I want Secure Protector. I have two good tackles already, Trey Thomas and John Runyon. These guys, I'm never going to beat any of these. never going to lose the people with just edge threats. That's number one. All right. Uh, then I thought about wide receiver. Who am I going to put abilities on? Maybe leave T.O. with no abilities and put abilities on a lesser wide receiver. But instead, we're going to have T.O. souped up. Super goon T.O. We'll put abilities on him. Probably short in and short out. Something like that. Just to make him a stud. Defensively. Now, I thought about throwing abilities on Javon Curse, Darwin Walker, Hugh Douglas, making these guys studs, but I figured if I do that, most of the smart players in the league are going to put their abilities on their, their tackles. That's how I feel. I feel like the guys you're going to meet in the playoffs, the guys you're going to make a run in the Super Bowl are going to have secure protector on the tackle. So for me, I was like, you know what? We're going to put it all on the secondary. So what we did was we put Lito Shepard abilities, Sheldon Brown, and of course, Brian Dawkins. You know, now we can change whatever ability we want. So it's going to fluctuate throughout the year, depending on how the game plays, depending on what ability we want. But mostly we're probably going to put man coverage on these guys and try to run. But the 04 Eagles, probably my favorite team ever. Now we have control of them. This is what we got. This is the new CFM, boys. Still rocking the Vikings CFM, of course. But we have two. Hopefully upload new CFM games the rest of the summer. Keeping Madden alive. If you guys like the CFM, let me know. We're going to keep farming the CFM, boys. All right, first game, week one, we are playing the Lions, boys. Let's take a look at who they have. Now, I can't lie, this team made some trades, which I don't know if I feel. 
One of the reasons I'm, I was hesitant to join this is because I'm like a real hardcore Eagles fan, especially 2004. So I don't want to trade my team. I don't want to mix this team up. I want to play with the players that were on the team. You know, part of me, that nostalgic part of me really wants to play with those players and these guys really don't care about that as this person in the lions they traded herman moore to get richard sherman so this team is already super changed up but he's got rodney pete a little bit of speed mobile quarterback i say 83 pretty mobile he's got barry sanders 94 speed barry sanders that's insanely good somehow he has calvin which i didn't think calvin and barry ever played on the same team but they're both on the lions team so i don't know what all-time team this is that they snuck Barry uh, Calvin Johnson 96 speed on I don't know and apparently when he traded Herman Moore he got Jermaine curse too so he has two stud wide receivers that are superstars that's gonna be tough to deal with for sure uh, tight end Zach Miller who I believe Arizona State this was the Zach Miller that was on Seattle for a long time so he might have came from the Legion of Boom trade I really don't know what trade went down. Little bit fishy. We'll see how it works out. Uh, he has one O lineman that's good, that has abilities. So hopefully Javon Curse and the boys can get after the quarterback before uh, he can just throw the ball to Calvin or Jermaine Curse. We will see. Uh, defensively, I don't know if he's really that strong. We'll see. Uh, Robert Porsche was a beast, but he doesn't have any abilities right there. Uh, linebackers, it's so bad. Like every time I look through this, I'm just reminded of how bad linebackers are in Madden dude I had to put Jeremiah Trotter on the defensive line to make him relevant it's actually insane how bad linebackers are Richard Sherman is a stud 94 speed 63 we know that Bryant Westbrook the, the fake Brian Westbrook Bryant Westbrook 94 speed he's also good so two real good corners then a good Corey Redmond uh so four, three good corners these guys are pretty tough obviously abilities on all three of them so we're gonna have Richard Sherman with one step ahead and deep route knockout. That's what I have on Dawkins and Lito Shepard. We have Bryant Westbrook here with the good old inside shade deep route knockout. And we'll see if we have Corey Redman in here with just inside shade. So we have similar rosters as far as abilities on defense. I was feel like my D line's a lot better. Mark Carrier is safety. This guy has this guy with safety. So he has four guys with abilities on defense which is a little bit weird i guess because he traded for sherman so he has one two three four guys with i don't know tough tough scene tough scene recent transactions i don't even know how do i do that lead transactions all right it's got all this edited oh trades i could probably do trades right traded okay seahawks okay let's see this trade that my opponent did before we get started all right the Lions gave up a first round pick. The Lions gave up a left tackle. The Lions gave up David Sloan and Herman Moore. The Lions got Zach Miller, Jermaine Curse, and Richard Sherman. And the Lions got a seventh round pick. So the Seahawks traded Sherman, Jermaine Curse, who somehow is 95 speed, and Zach Miller for Herman Moore and a first round pick is what I'm looking at. And Ray Roberts. I don't know. Is Ray Roberts good? I feel like you give up, first of all, Jermaine Curse is just as good as Herman Moore. He's just taller. And then you get Sherman, who's like a stud. So the Seahawks guy is bad. So he just... Okay. Yes, Jermaine Curse is faster than T.O. I don't know. I don't make up the rules. I just play. Yeah, so the, the deal's a little fishy. So that's how this guy, the first guy I'm playing, of course, has all these abilities on defense. So we'll see. We got McNabb, bro. What else matters? We're playing Allen Clamps. I don't know if I've ever played this person in my life. Is he cracked? He definitely robbed Seattle in the trade. So he's definitely a trade demon. All right. David Akers is left-footed. Okay. We got to change that. Oh, my God. Ike Reese on the specials? This dude got Barry Sanders returning kicks. Jesus. Give it a break. All right. Who's missing tackles early on the Eagles? Who's missing tackles here? Could have been a pick. Could have been a pick, Michael Lewis. Oh my god, I didn't see that mother get out of there. Oh yeah. This dude's a bomb, dude. Striker, three, three, cut, cut. 
Good job, Simon. Let's go. Just shock it to Calvin, dude. Come on, man. He's just throwing a streak to the running back? Come on, man. Yeah, Calvin did not play with this team, so. Yeah, I just played all zone right there, and I realized having man coverage on those guys is just not elite. Look, this is why I got, whatchamacallit, though? Nasty streak. They be doing work. T O T O T O T O. This is like the he got like the all time lines. It's not even like one team. It's like the all time. T O T O T O T O. All right, I can't lie, T O. I don't know how we don't get in like that right there. I really don't know. Yeah, that's what I thought. I felt like T O had to fight right there, but he didn't. So what are we gonna do, right? Westbrook fought though. How did 58 get get like how did 58 get in there? How, dude? Just block 58 and we walk in the end zone. Thank you, dude. Like <laughs> it's not hard. Touchdown birds. By far the easiest it's been to stop the run out of dollar this year. Is this year. You don't even have to try to stop the run. Oh, this is fun. Why would you stop? Who do you think you are? What are you? Dude, just absolute bum. Come here, you stupid little bitch. Good play, buddy. Oh, Trotter! That's why we put you at the end. Let's go, Trot! Let's go. Making your presence felt. He can make trades, though. I might hire this guy to be my GM, honestly. I might hire him to be my GM. Bad move, bad move or good move, boys. T. Oh, okay. Okay, who the hell do you think you are? Dude has 5,000 abilities, man. What am I playing? Look at these. This is nasty, ain't it? Of course, I played a guy with extra abilities the first play, right? First CFM game, I played a guy with the extra abilities. So much user. God, I thought the dude was in a zone. Ah! I feel like that guy was in a zone, and they just matched. Dude traded. In a two-season a two, a two league, dude traded for a draft pick. I might have to hit up the Seahawks guy, bro. I might really have to hit him up. Come on, Doc. It's just no way. God, this sucks, man. Oh my god, he's just no huddling. I just run base, dude, please. Dawkins! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Pick? Oh my god, pick artist. Nice play, 31. I don't even know who the hell you are. Is that win, 31? There's just no way we just get perfect blocks on that play, dude. There's just no way in hell we just get the perfect blocks. Oh, my God. Gee, like, dude. Oh, my God. This guy is just absolutely the greatest player I've ever seen in my life, dude. Somebody get this guy a 10-day contract. Holy shit. Absolutely miserable player, dude. Kick into the fullback in CFM. Dude, yo, go outside, dude. Time to go two men under, boys, huh? I mean, I can't lie how bad T.O. was getting blocked. It's nuts. 
or Tio is getting bumped is like actually insane, dude. When it, when in doubt, run two men under, and then we're gonna we're gonna run spinner. Dude, Westbrook, are you trolling? And my dudes are so bagged right now, dude. Such a good cat. Like, my dudes are so bagged, it's ridiculous. Oh my god, is two man under just godly in this mode? Like, my guys were so bagged. Yeah, now it's time to run base. God, dude. He ran the clock to where he couldn't score a touchdown unless he just chucked the ball in the air. I, I yo, I, this, I, I'm telling you, like, this, he he just ran the clock. He had two minutes with the ball, and he ran two plays and all had zero. But they let him score. He just chucked the ball. Like, dog, absolute garbage, man. Absolute just garbage mode. Like, what are we doing? Absolute disgusting shit, dude. Somehow we're in a game now because of one snap throw to ball or whatchamacallit. It's not an all-time CFM. He's the only guy with the all-time team. He's the only one with the guys from different eras. He's the only guy. He's the only guy with four abilities. This this guy. Like, the dude, whoever has the Seahawks should never be allowed in CFMs again. I don't care if he pays $500. That dude should be banned. Because he traded them all these... Yo, he just, like... The dude f***ed them in a trade, like, in the first, before the season even started. Like, whoever that Seahawks guy is, dude, you got to get your head out of your ass. Like, look how he scored. Like, dude, oh my god. Dude, I have never seen this play get this bumped. I really haven't. Oh, he didn't bump at that time. God, these dudes are f***ing bagged. All right, come on. All right, we got to start playing. Dude has four corners with one step ahead, dude. In week one. Awesome, dude. This is the most fun I've ever had playing Madden. Let me tell you that, boys. Snap the f***ing ball here. How's he got a knockout on that? <laughs> Dog. Like, what the f*** is going on, man? Good throw, dude. Way to look at the field. Oh my god, like we're tro we're actually trolling right now. I hate this game so much, man. I really do. How does my linebacker take 40 seconds to run out after that guy? By the time he gets out, like, I just, like, I, I just, this sh sucks, man. It honestly, like, just absolutely just terrible, man. Just miserable, man. Let's get four, a bit, four one step aheads with knockout and just play two man under. Just absolutely, absolutely miserable experience on CFM. It really is absolutely miserable. Oh, now it's time to blitz now, huh, superstar, huh? And just P.I. the shit out of my... Dude, look at what he did to T.O., man. Or whoever the hell that is. Freddie Mitchell. Thank you. Man, up. That's what, exactly what he's doing. Putting his DBs back. In. <laughs> that's just miserable, dude. Yep. There it is, boys. As if we didn't doubt. Dude, every time I run, that dude just disengages so fast. I swear he has, like, he. this guy knows where my guys are going to be. I swear to God he does. 
Good blocking. Good blocking, 84. If you would have blocked your corner, we would have we would have had yards right there. Best, dude. I'm the f best, dude. Hmm. Fumble the ball, you stupid bitch. Oh my god, W, pick that sh off. Oh, I thought it'd be like a better pat. Oh my god. Fumble the ball, man. You are literally a sh diaper. It's just ab I, all you had to do was all you had to do was wait for Calvin. He sucks. It's not that he's scared. He sucks. Chad, of course he's got knockout. My bad. Hold up. I forgot. Everybody got knockout. <laughs> Everybody. Hold on. All right. Hold up. This is a blitz. This might be. This is a DP fire. I believe. Good defense, bro. No wonder you play CFM. No wonder you play CFM. No wonder. No wonder. Make a hell of a trade. He's as smart as a fire hydrant, but you know. Now run to the left with your Barry Sanders. Come on. There we go. Good job. You're sh man. Like, this is so disgusting that y'all play this game and are this sh would be time to run. Yeah, it would be time to run, dude. It's time to run. It's time to run. No huddle. Come on. It's time to run now. I'm this guy bagged. It's time to run. Come on. That's the best throw you've thrown all day, buddy. That's the best panic throw you've thrown all day. This is nasty. Nasty. Yeah, he's trying to milk the whole quarter by lobbing a running back in route across the field. That's what he's trying to do. Definitely. No, just never mind. I, I pressed Calvin. This is my fault. Ha ha ha, you stupid sh Max protect streak. That's what you get, you stupid sh You know what's going to happen? He's going to milk himself so bad and get bailed out by chucking the ball in the air for a touchdown. That's what's going to happen in this game. He's going to milk himself out of the entire game. And then instead of trying to score a touchdown, he's going to get, he's going to give himself no chance but the chuck. And he's going to catch a touchdown. It's going to happen. It's a great throw. I'll give him another chance. Just give him another chance. Are oh, you going to kick? You're going to kick and give me the ball for the game? Wow. Bull strategy, Cotton. I mean, I don't blame him for it. I really haven't been frying him, though. I really haven't been frying him. Especially if he goes to two men under. I, I'd rather him blitz right now than go to two men under. For some reason, he's getting really good coverage. He's getting better coverage than the guys in the CFM, dude. I, I don't know. I don't know if Quez in, in Minnesota got better wide receivers than these guys, but I honestly don't know. I don't know if I would have went for that. I don't know. Fourth and eight. Like, if it was fourth and five or fourth and less than five, yeah. I think you got to try to be a little bit safe here. Or blitz, and maybe that gives up a big play. Yeah, he's in spinner. I thought I played so much, and that was the worst it ever, like, worked. He's going back to two men under here. Oh, no, he's not. Call time out for me? Okay. Oh my god, I can't lie, my boys are so trash. My wide receivers right now. Let's go Westbrook. Let's go Westbrook. Threat detector just knew I could do that for a first down. Again. I mean, like, the rule number one of spinner is you have to guard the running back. Like, that's rule number one, boys. I don't know if you guys have played Madden. Or this guy's played a lot of men, but that's like rule number one. And when you're playing against Spinner, your rule needs to be how can I beat, how can I use the running back? Seriously. Where does the DB fire? One or the other. Oh, under. 
My boy Greg Lewis picking him up, getting out of bounds. 42-52, 57-yard field goal right now. I mean, I feel like this is just a runnable spot right here. It really is, dude. T.O., 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 T.O. He should call timeout, like, right now. Make me run another play. Ah, okay, okay, Alan Clamps. Super sweat. And I'll tell you what, I'm the super sweat of them all. Well, actually, now I won't get an ice field goal, I don't think. I should have ran another play. I'm going to use my timeout here. Oh, is that how he knew to call a timeout? At f oh, my God. Hopefully, I can take a second off the clock here. No second. I don't want to, like, throw the ball away and get a penalty. I'm just trying to take a second off the clock. Why not, right? Oh, we got a one second. Can we get to seven? Can we get to seven seconds here? Every second counts, boys. When you got Calvin and Megatron in them, boys. Oh, my God. There's just no way. There's no way. There is no way that's a rule. There is absolutely no way in hell that's a rule oh my god i don't even know what to do i really don't even know what to do i feel like i get the dub i feel like that's a dub sorry it's a dub no way i'm restarting that game i feel like there's no way as a madden player in week one you should say no I'll restart come on dude i'm not re i'm not playing that whole damn game over we earned that dub we earned that dub i'm not missing a 40 yard ice field goal dude i'm not and he's not scoring with three seconds. Ain't no way. I'm not re -in. I'm not doing anything. That's a dub. Or I'm done. I can't lie. I'm done. If that's not a dub in this league, if this league do not have integrity to give me the W right there, then I can't play the league no more. I can't play with them kids. I can't. I can't waste my energy on these kids, to be honest. No, GG's, Alan. GG's. See, Alan knows. Alan, that's my dub, right? Like, I get a dub for that. Agreed? It makes sense, though. No, it does make sense. Oh, GG's, Alan. GG's, then. You're a lord, then. GG's. Anything I said about you was just during the game. You're a good guy. So, all right. You guys, YouTube, everybody's going to ask me what happened in the game. Why did I get kicked? What happened was he called timeout with nine seconds, right? Now, I can try to run some more clock to make that play the last play of the game. So I could run the ball, but I didn't have I did have a timeout, but I had to use that to get out of field goal, right? So I go back. It's first down. I have no timeouts. How can I run some time off the clock safely? Spike. You call spike, right? Even if it's a half a second, if you do it three times, you get a, a second and a half off of the clock. If there's nine seconds, at the end of the day, that second and a half means something because the field goal is going to take three seconds. Now, all of a sudden, on the kickoff, he only has two seconds or three seconds rather than seven. It doesn't seem like much, but this is my point. Why not do it? That's my thing, you know? And you, when you're playing the nerds in CFM, you got to nerd them out. You know, now I could have ran, I could have max protect and thrown the ball away, but you never know what intentional grounding does that require runoff if you get an intentional grounding with the clock running. And so that's why I'm just spiking the ball, take a second off. But EA put in the game, if you spike the ball too many times in a row, say you're being a jerk off in seasons and you're losing and you do that, it kicks them out of the game, which it should. Let's agree with that. Like nobody wants to sit nobody just spiking the ball a million times. But I just didn't know that was something really in the game, really. Yeah, I know that if you go off sides, it's going to kick you. I, I guess we're never in a situation where you spike the ball three times in a row. But GG's, that was a good game. That was a tough game.